hi you guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to a fun little video i know you guys love the like whole house declutter videos and so i thought it could be really fun to do a little bit of like a spring clean and organize with me i'm filming this on monday but the video is gonna start we're gonna go back in time i just realized i never filmed an intro but yesterday i woke up and this never happens to me but i was like i really want to clean and organize the house i think i was just so tired of being sick and under the weather for a week and when I filmed my monthly reset, which would have been the last video you guys saw on that thir Friday, I think it was, or Thursday. Thursday, I think. I had finally come out of my flu that we had. We had like a 36 hour flu. And so I cleaned up the house and I was feeling really good. And then I woke up Friday and my allergies were so, so, so bad. Um, having COVID really like triggered sinus pain for me. So anytime I get a cold or allergies, they're just like unbelievably painful and so i feel like all that work i did to tidy the house up on thursday evening you know we're back to square one and the house is honestly just a disaster because i've just like done so much rotting on the couch and resting and relaxing i'm like i want to do something but everything is closed because it's easter weekend so i had the idea to maybe just do a little bit of like a deep clean and organized session like especially when we hosted on saturday i was kind of just like throwing everything into random cabinets because I wanted the house to like look tidy from the outside. And so I knew I wanted to do some organizing. There were some areas in the house that we've moved around. And I just wanted to organize for spring. I feel like it's such a nice fresh start. Anyways, I never thought I'd say I'm so excited to clean and organize the house, but I think it'll just feel nice, especially like being sick for the last week, like just kind of like shedding that like final winter layer and like really moving into spring. It's supposed to be like in the seventies this week here, like high sixties, low seventies. So I think I'm like finally ready for spring and I just like want the house to be nice and clean. And I'm really excited to take you guys along. So we're actually gonna go back in time now to yesterday yesterday we didn't have anything going on and like i said everything was closed so i decided to spend um I, I guess i spent most of the day organizing but i did like take little breaks here and there and then today i will chat with you guys in a new clip once you've watched yesterday's clip anyways let's go back to yesterday you guys i think we're gonna start in the kitchen because there's not a whole lot to deep clean around here because get our new countertops installed next week so like i'm not we're just not really bothering with these and they're a little too far gone so i highly recommend if you're going to paint your countertops to put sealer on top of them because these are just so gross and stained but like there's just nothing else that we can do at this point um so yeah i don't really have to clean any of the surfaces in the kitchen but i like to do this probably i don't know once a month I try to is just like take everything out of the utensil holders vacuum them out they obviously get like grimy over time wipe these drawers down and then also while I'm at it just kind of like go through some of these drawers I feel like they accumulate so fast same with like the drink drawers obviously we get like coffee grinds and stuff in here I want to organize the tea and stuff now that it's getting warmer we're not drinking tea as much but we're drinking you know more like fun little drinky drink these are electrolytes but you know what i mean and so i want to just kind of like reorganize this for more of like spring summer or here i guess this is like still considered the kitchen because we have these like open concept shelvings kind of off of the dining room i'm just trying to figure out what i want to do with all of our like hobby stuff i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it in here or not or move the puzzle somewhere else but then it's like i don't really know what i would put in here if i didn't have the puzzles here so we might play around with this and just organize it a little bit more. This little bar area just needs to be organized. I need to actually take this container away because anytime we have container somewhere, we use it as a free for all. So I wanna get rid of this container so that we don't have anything to like throw things into. So I wanna go through that. Honestly, the hutch is like pretty organized and fine. I really love the way that it looks. This just has like all of our painting supplies and home project stuff. So this is fine. I don't think I'm gonna have to really touch this up at all. Organize this vanity. This is the vanity that we had upstairs in our bathroom that flooded and we brought it downstairs, but we never really took the time to organize it. And so we just need to like go through all of this stuff, honestly and see like ugh, matt's cologne does not need to be down here so i really want to go through organize this probably give it a good clean play around with the credenza too and get this a little bit reorganized i mean it's definitely fine we have like all of our games and stuff over here but i'm just wondering if i either need to do all of it games and like lego and cozy hobbies or all of it storage like it's kind of one or the other you know what i mean 
because we definitely have more Lego and stuff that we could store over here. So I'm thinking about moving some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is like for, you know, like hosting and stuff. So I need to like make a basket for hosting and put all that stuff in one bin so it's not just scattered across the house. So this is definitely another spot I want to clean declutter and organize today the bathroom just needs to be tidied up from like allergies and being sick and all that stuff and then i also need to just like go through my makeup and see what has like expired i am really bad about keeping products forever so i need to go through all of my bathroom stuff and see what's expired my makeup and, and lastly my bedside drawers which are a hot 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 mess and i can never keep these organized which is a sign that i need a new system for in here so i need to get some cord organizers honestly i think and just really organize the heck out of this but that is the other spot i want to organize and clean up today the plan here is to take everything out i want to give the shelves a little dust and wipe down just because i feel like dust accumulates so easy especially in an old house and like I mentioned at the beginning, I really want to use this for just kind of like cozy hobby storage, I think. If it doesn't work, that's totally fine. But I at least want to try it with like all of our Lego and stuff in here. So take everything out and then that way I can find all of this stuff, a new home, like all of the charger cables and stuff. It's kind of my plan for everything. Take everything out, clean it, and then put it back in in a new organized way. happy with how this turned out i was able to fit like pretty much all of our hobby stuff in here like coloring books puzzles markers crochet kits speaker and then all of our games and lego so i'm really really happy with this and now my goal is to put kind of like more household stuff um candles in the back I don't know if I've shared this with you guys yet. I can't remember if I did or I didn't. But this is the calyx from my office. Um, and now I have a dresser. So I thought to bring it in the back for storage. Um, whether it just be like extra organizers. Which we're going to use those for the video to organize. <laughs> we have like onions. All of my extra planter and plant supplies. Matt's like bread box and whatnot. I think we're actually going to get another one. Because it's honestly just really, really great storage. So... My plan is to use this for like light bulbs and extra stuff as well. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put it. I'm thinking like down here somewhere. Update on the built-in shelves or whatever these are called. Honestly, built-in shelves. Um, bottom one is empty now because the puzzles are gone, which is nice. I'm going to leave it empty for now. And then if we have a purpose for it down the line, great. And then this one is a lot less cluttered and full now because I took all the coloring books out of it. And these are just like some miscellaneous coffee table books slash like cookbooks that we have. And this one just has all of our flower vases in it. But my plan of attack, like I mentioned for the house, is to go like in order the house. So now that we're here in the kitchen, I'm going to come over and do all of these drawers. Like I said, just empty everything out, go through them give them a vacuum, give them a good clean, and then put everything back in them. I'm gonna take a break for lunch, make a coffee, probably read for a little bit.
also going to deep clean our straws. I try and do this like, I would say, I'd like to say once a month, but I just filled a bowl up with hot water. And I just add a tablespoon of baking soda and then a little bit of dishwasher soap. And I mix that all in. I feel like baking soda literally does wonders. And then I just throw them in and I just let them soak for like an hour and then I'll go in with like one of the little straws and then just kind of really get all that gunk out. We're moving in clock or is this counterclockwise order? Clockwise or counterclockwise? No, counterclockwise order. I just want to go through this random container that's here and I'm going to try and put something else here because I feel like when we keep just like containers out in the open, that's when they just get piled with random shit, honestly. So like this, this is leftover from a craft that I did. I just threw it in here. I'm not too sure why my camera box is down here. This should be in my office. Okay, this is important extension cord. Oh, this is like one of those photos that comes with the frames, but it's actually really nice. We've got an extra frame here. We've got this print. Like I feel like I need to find a home for all of my prints to live in got a random notepad i think this came with like our little recipe book i'm gonna give that away got some extra weather strip i think this is matt's charger for something oh my gosh i've been looking for this this is the attachment this is the attachment so that i can use my tripod for my phone oh my gosh i've been looking for that that's great i also want to take everything off and just dust this off i don't know if you can tell but there's just a bunch of leftover like dust on here from when we put some of these frames up and like the drywall dust came off so i'm just gonna take everything off and give it a quick clean and like give the bottles of dust down struggling with what to do with the bathroom honestly these aren't real drawers these are just drawer fronts and these are pretty like they're pretty deep they fit a lot of stuff in them as you can tell but i'm just trying to decide if it makes more sense to do like one with cleaning supplies one with dog stuff or what i definitely need to empty this one because it has just like a bunch of random like shampoo and conditioner in it and for now it's to just empty them out at least give them a quick wipe down and then i'm going to leave them empty for a little bit like for the rest of the day today and probably kind of take the time to figure out what I want to put in there and really think it through. Taking a break to have some lunch. I want to make sure to share these moments with you guys too so you guys know that we're not just cleaning all day because sometimes I watch these videos and I'm like... Are people just cleaning their house for like 10 hours a day? Because I could not. I could not. I also had to change into some shorts and all I could find was boxer shorts. So we're, I mean, isn't it like a trend right now? I was getting too hot in leggings. And I'm about to have some lunch. All I could find was um, frozen chicken nuggets. In my dill pickle salad, I pulled a frosted cup out of the freezer. I keep a few in there. Well, no, I usually keep one or two in there for Diet Cokes. And I'm going to teach you guys the best way to make a Diet Coke, okay? Crispy frosted cup is first. It literally needs to be in there for like not even 10 minutes. You don't have to leave it a long time. Ice. Pebble form is best, but I don't have that. So I just have normal ice and I use a scoop to feel fancy. Then, of course, our true lime. Oh, shoot. I just realized I don't have any clean straws because I'm washing them all. Dang it. That's okay. And then we pour the crispy Diet Coke. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be a good one. I know it. Okay. I found a straw that was clean. We do a little mix-up. Oh my goodness that's divine i'm gonna eat my salad and probably read my book for a little bit take a little bit of a breather from cleaning and organizing and then we'll get back to it this afternoon 
Hello friends. Sometimes when I'm filming these like declutter or like cleaning videos, I have to remember like pop my face in and be like, hi, I'm the face behind the camera because it's so many shots of me just like organizing. Uh, but yeah, hello. Why did I just do this? Hello guys. Let's get serious. Let's have an after lunch meeting. I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. I definitely think today is more of like a organizing day and tomorrow will be more of a cleaning day like we've done some cleaning here and there we're all supposed to be kind of like yucky weather and it's gonna rain it's like in the groove with organizing and i wouldn't really say we're doing too much decluttering but just kind of giving things a home and really organizing i feel like especially with easter and like having people over we kind of just like throw things in random spots and then you know it's like hidden from people when they come over but then we have things in random cupboards and cabinets and that's really what needs to be organized. And like I said, after just like being sick, I really just wanna take a day to just get the house in order for spring. I think spring is truly here, although we're supposed to get snow on Wednesday, I heard. So I really hope that's not true. But if that's the case, spring is not here yet. I also have a kink in my hair from my Glock lip, so that's lovely. I think my plan now, I'm trying to decide if there's anything left on the main floor that I wanna do. I took all that stuff out of the bathroom and I'm gonna sit on that for a bit and maybe try some different things in there. I like to, when I'm not sure about a space, try some different organizers and see what's gonna fit. I like the idea of doing one of the cabinets dog stuff and one of them cleaning stuff because we don't have a ton of room under our sink for cleaning supplies. We have a pretty small, like our, our sink is pretty low. We have a pretty small cabinet. So I was thinking about taking all the cleaning stuff out and putting it in the bathroom. So I'm gonna leave that stuff out for a while. I need to go through and like put some of it upstairs. Um, Matt can put his own stuff away. I'm not organizing his stuff for him. That's kind of all that's left for downstairs. Instead of just sitting here and being like, hmm, what else do I have to do? Let's just check off the things on the list so far. Kitchen drawers, done. Uh, okay, credenza, done. Bar cart, done. Bathroom and dresser drawers. Oh, we really don't have as much left as I thought. I mean, a lot of it is still cleaning. Like I wanna clean the sliding door, track, library room floors i need to like swiffer oh yeah cushion clean i also want to try i need to like look up some ways to do this uh but i want to do a deep clean of our sheets and pillowcases like i almost want to like laundry strip them but then i also my mom said that you can put them in the laundry machine or the washing machine with baking soda and stuff and that will get them white again but our like white like linen sheets and stuff are just dingy and not white anymore so i want to find a way to like deep clean those but I'd say we're like halfway done, which is really great. So all I want to focus on today is getting the rest of the organizing done. And then tomorrow we can do the rest of the cleaning when, you know, I have a bit of a, like tomorrow will be a half day because we're hosting dinner tomorrow night. So it kind of is the perfect day to like get our butt in gear and it makes more sense to clean tomorrow than today because then it'll just get dirty all over again. So that is the plan. And oh, I wanted to share this with you guys. If you are decluttering or organizing, um, I started doing this and it really helps me a ton, especially if you're organizing and decluttering a ton of spaces. Just like stuff everywhere that has to go back to its proper home, right? So I designate a basket for all the things that need to go to their proper home. And then at the end of the day, I just walk around with my basket and put things back in their proper home. Cause that's Matt and I's worst habit is instead of putting something back where it belongs, we put it in a different spot and it makes twice the work. So I decided to come up with this little strategy of having a box. And then when this is full or you know, you shouldn't wait till it's full, but you can walk around the house and put things back in their proper spot. That way there's not just like stuff everywhere. It's like all kind of designated to one box. So I need to do that as well at the end of the day, but there's enough chatting Carter. I am procrastinating getting back to work right now. And um, yeah, let's, let's get to it. This is like truly how I leave the bathroom after getting ready in the morning. Like I just leave my shit everywhere. So first thing we have to do is clean this all up and then I'm actually just going to move my makeup to the side because we're going to go through it after and all that stuff because obviously we know I have very acne prone skin so I try and rotate my makeup out pretty frequently but let's clean up this um, chaos before <laughs> Matt yells at me because he's the very tidy one in this relationship not me. So this is my current biggest dilemma is that we don't really have like a medicine cabinet or anywhere to put our medicine. So that's something I'm trying to think of as well as where we can put that. Um, so I'm going to move this stuff over here for now because I need to find some sort of medicine cabinet solution because allergy season is just beginning. 
Okay, so my goal is to use this as like our medicine cabinet. So I want to empty all this stuff out because now that I have a dresser in my office, I can put a lot of my extra products in there. But some of this is like stuff I use every day, like, or not every day, but like frequently. Like my wax stick, y'all are going to hate me for saying this, but this was not that great. It was not that great. It left the weirdest white cast on my hair. I was not a fan. Um, let's see, what does this smell like? Okay, I will keep that. I will keep this. This worked really well, but I don't like the smell of it. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> stuff is amazing, but I have this like thing where I just keep empty containers for no reason. Like this is empty. I don't know why I have it. It needs to go in the garbage. I just like love holding on to empties as if I'm like a beauty guru who's gonna film an empties video. I was savoring this because scene is only available in the u.s and this is amazing if you have like acne prone skin and you get like acne on your hairline but apparently they're on amazon canada now so i can start using this again i don't have to like ration it out and then i picked this up at tj maxx when i was in the states i don't think i've even tried it yet however i should leave this out and use it because my hair is tangly as heck lately so look there we already cleaned one out okay then i really only use hyaluronic acid in the winter so i feel like i could put this with my extra stuff um i tried this and it broke me out so i'm gonna see if my sister or my mom wants it because i won't put that on and buy nothing if it's opened but i give pretty much anything that doesn't work for me to like my sister or my mom um i got these for christmas for my management team but they just don't work as well as these ones these are the best acne patches ever the rayel beauty ones so um once again i'll probably just see if my sister wants these and now we have two of these empty containers which is great i'm thinking of making the top one like more commonly used medication um like allergy stuff Now we're going to go through my makeup. The thing about me is that, okay, first of all, I need to organize these better as if I don't have acne prone skin and these brushes should just be like freaking out in the open. Old poof in the garbage. She's done. We're replacing her. I don't need to have multiple products out at once. I wear the same makeup every single day. So we are going to, this little mirror bag has just like my extras in it. So what I'm going to do is put all of my extras in the mirror bag and then we'll go through the mirror bag and see what's like good, what's not. For example, love this blush, but it's not the one I'm reaching to right now. Um, I don't know if anyone else can relate, but these It Cosmetics CC Cream Lids do not stay on. This one's actually almost empty. I should probably order a new one. I didn't even know that this was in here. I don't even know how old this is. So we're just going to not keep that. I have all these Charlotte Tilbury wand things that Disney sent us, and I do really love them. But I just, like, I don't need six blushes out here at once. Um, my everyday concealer, that can stay. Same thing with, like, mascara. I'm, like, such a hoe for mascara that I literally, how many of them do I have out here right now? I have four mascaras out here. I'll keep the CoverGirl one because it's like a brown one. I like that for like more of a softer look. But this I'm really sad. I think this is empty and I don't want to repurchase it because it's really expensive. Like I'm really so grateful they sent it to me. But it's really, really expensive. And then this is also pretty old. Only one bronzer. That's good. Only one setting powder. That's good. Blush, like I have this blush in here, it doesn't even work. I kid you not, none of the powder comes out because it's so old. So that needs to go. Guys, I love this blush so much, but I'm pretty sure it's breaking me out, which is sad. One highlighter, that's all we need. There we go. Look how less chaotic that is. Oh, I'm just gonna put my eyelash curler back in there. Would you look at that? Now we have this lovely little makeup bag. Okay, with two palettes. I don't need two because I just don't really wear makeup that much. Um, so I do love the crease color, but that's the only one I use and I'm pretty sure there's a similar one in here. Yeah, there is. So I think I'm just going to keep this one and give this one, like I said, to my sister or something. Love this blush. However, it is, I think it dried out like the lid wasn't on it. Don't know why I kept it. I probably kept it to remind myself to get a new one. Luckily these are like $5 but it's all dried out. So I need to order a new one. I got this in a package and it, it just broke me out. So I need to just get rid of that. Like, I don't know why I hold on to this stuff. Oh, I've also been looking for this. Maybe I'll start using this blush. Maybe I'll swap out. 
yeah i'm gonna swap out and use this one then i have two of these lip glosses that are i kid you not probably like three or four years old so i think it's maybe time to not keep those anymore i throw kind of like my extras in here that i can swap out when the time comes there's not many anymore which is actually really really nice same with the eyeshadow palette like i just don't use that a ton so i'm gonna throw that in my office just with like you know the extra stuff and it feels really good to clean out a ton of makeup that was probably going bad okay i don't know if anyone else can relate but i feel like my bedside table gets the messiest like whenever i need to clean up i just like throw things in here like don't ask me how my camera batteries and charger got in here because i just i don't i don't know um it's not dirty it's just it needs to be organized so i think what i'm gonna do is take everything out and then lay it on the bed and then distinguish like what actually needs to be here and what doesn't like my nail stuff really doesn't need to be in here first specifically is just like a lot of extra stuff that i just need to go through and like honestly declutter a little bit so yeah like i said i want to take everything out and then just lay it on the bed and kind of sort it out from there i think i feel like the bottom one is the worst because i just throw random stuff in here including garbage because i'm lazy and i don't want to put it in the actual garbage but like annotating sticky notes those need to go in the library cloth shops obviously were meant to be here because i was sick but now they can go back to the medicine area i need to figure out actually these should really go in my office now that i have a dresser my extra wallets and passport cover these like why are the extra coasters in here like i have literal birth control wrappers that just put those in the garbage carter why 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 can't you walk the two steps to the garbage another coaster a christmas ring dish a random old book like y'all my house may look tidy on the outside in the vlogs but this is the reality is that i just put random shit in random drawers my glass case could not even tell you what all of this like i have an instruction manual for a humidifier that we returned i don't even have this anymore that's for my wedding band it's not even in there every time i organize and film a video i always show this it's in my jewelry box but yeah so love that for me this i really need to order some cord organizers I'm, they're not gonna be here in time for this video but i definitely need to order some of those because i think that will just help i don't have many i just have my kindle my aura ring my apple watch and my iphone but they're just really long another coaster matches i don't really need those up here because i don't have candles oh wow shocker another empty birth control box i just need to work on not throwing random shit in here like that's my downfall um i feel like the nail stuff could definitely go into my office now that i have that whole dresser another empty birth control wrapper like do we sense a theme here so i found these downstairs i'm all about just like using random organizers you have at the end of the day no one gives a flying rat's ass if your organizers match so go get them at the thrift store dollar store i don't care um but i thought that these long ones would be really good for all of my cords since they're so big and i realistically don't keep my kindle in here it's usually on the counter so i don't worry about that but then maybe i was thinking these ones are these are from ikea and they're honestly awesome if you're in the market for some organizers they're super inexpensive and i thought maybe we could do like that like would that work need much else in here and yeah if i wanted to i could always just kind of throw my kindle in there that's what i do but i usually just leave it on the um i usually just leave it on the bedside table but honestly that looks a lot better and now the bottom is empty so that's nice i'm gonna leave it empty for now and uh maybe i don't know what i'm gonna put in there but i'd rather leave it empty than just kind of like shove it with random stuff so i'm really really happy with that okay you guys i just took a little bit of a break i went to go take a walk to the library get some fresh air listen to a podcast and now we're ending the day off with this space matt's just gone for his workout and this is the last room on the list for the day i think i finally come to a conclusion of what i want to do here and i do think that's a really great tip is don't feel like you have to organize something right away and also it's totally okay to put something in a spot and then decide in a few days or a week that it's not the best home for it like that's also totally fine we change things all the time because you really have to find the system that works best for you so i've decided we're going to do half cleaning and then half dog i think it just makes the most sense so 
So I just took out a bunch of our cleaning supplies from under the sink. And then I found this stuff upstairs. Like we just had our cleaning stuff dispersed throughout the house, but we only swift for the first floor. So that makes sense to have down here. really excited because I thrifted this a while ago and I had no purpose for it but now I just realized it's the perfect size for all of our dryer balls so I'm gonna stick those in there I think I have some in the dryer as well and I think it's the perfect size and then I can kind of use this somewhere else my plan of attack for today is to organize the spots that I didn't yesterday and then I also want to do like honestly get just like an hour deep clean and that's it Matt and I have already done like our normal clean like in terms of like, the bathrooms the counters all that everything is like tidied up and vacuumed for when people come over we tag team that but I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a deep clean and I think my plan of attack for spring was like originally this video would be like over a week and we could do like a few things every day however I think what I'm going to do is just like make a big master list of my spring cleaning and divvy it up and just do a few things every week we have a really busy april in terms of home projects i'm traveling for work so i think it would just be best if i made like a master to-do list deep cleaning tasks and then just like check off one or two every few days or something so i think that is my plan of attack is i'm just going to pick a few spots in the house to focus on today and i wanted to share this tip i'm sure this is like pretty obvious if you're like me and you don't like cleaning i um don't really ever spend like a full day cleaning i just I, I don't i don't really know i don't really like to do that i'm someone who works better in small spurts of time and so whenever i'm gonna do like a deep clean or just like a sunday reset or something like that i either like to set a timer or i'll do it to like the length of a podcast or like the length of a youtube video i have a ton of podcasts to listen to from last week because obviously i was just like under the weather that's how you know i was really sick because i didn't even listen to any podcasts so i'm going to find one that feels like a good length of time i actually never listened to the red flags podcast episode from last week from the australia gp and it's an hour and 42 minutes so what i'm going to do is say that like i have an hour and 42 minutes to like do everything else i wanted to do it might not be that long i might do like just an hour or something that's one of my biggest tips if you don't like to clean like myself is to just like make it fun put on a podcast or a youtube video and clean for like the length of that or sometimes i'll listen to like an audiobook or something and i'll listen for like i don't know like six seven chapters and <clears throat> so that's the plan i have two spots left to organize the tea drawer and then my dresser upstairs and then in terms of deep cleaning the few spots i want to deep clean i want to rake the carpets i'll share that with you guys vacuum the rugs like take off the dining table vacuum it um we vacuum like the hardwood floors every day but not the rugs i also would like to clean the doors like the patio doors i wanted to do the outside of them like a big spring clean however it's going to rain this week so that kind of feels like unnecessary to do so i'm just going to clean like the patio doors and the windows on the inside just because like i feel like with the dogs booping their noses on the doors it just gets so dirty um i also if i have time would love to steam clean a few spots i don't know if i will but we'll see clean the couch cushions like get the hair off of them and honestly that's it i really wanted to laundry strip all of our sheets and bedding however we're out of all of our powdered like detergent and everything i don't have like well i have a car but nothing is open today and i'm not going to drive like 30 minutes to the drugstore where it's overpriced just to do it today so maybe i'll film like let me know if you guys want to take a part two to this um like maybe like a little spring refresh like a spring vlog and i can include a bit more spring cleaning for the things that we don't get to today let me know if you guys want to see that but without further ado let's not procrastinate let's grab our headphones it'll probably be a lot of b-roll just because we're puppy sitting and he's quite vocal in his crate but yeah, I think Matt's going to demo the bathroom. I think I've talked about this before, but when we moved into this house, we definitely had a bit of a shift in terms of like our um, tasks that we take on because obviously Matt takes on a ton of like the home projects, like electrical, plumbing, demolition, 
frame like drywalling like he does a lot of that himself and in order for us to do that on the weekends and for him to have the time to do that i take on a bit more of the house responsibilities which i don't mind because i'd rather that than us pay someone to do it so um that's why i'm doing the deep clean myself but honestly i'm kind of excited for it so i'm going to finish this coffee and just like hang here for a sec probably just i don't know maybe watch a youtube video or something and then once I've done that, we're going to do a little bit of a deep clean and those two spots left that I have to organize and then we're going to be done. But happy day two of this vlog. You guys, I just moved the dining table and my first step whenever I do a deep clean is I walk around the house. We'll throw this all over the carpets because I like to let it sit for a little while just to really kind of help loosen that dirt and also get the nice smells in here. Put this over all the rugs and then do another task. That way I give it kind of time to soak in down just like this and then leave it for a bit. And I get the fresh smelling one because I don't like lavender or anything, but I feel like this gives the house a nice smell too. I feel like our bedroom needs it the most because we're two humans and two dogs that sleep in a tiny little bedroom. Honestly, what our couch looks like, I have to steam it at least once a month, if not more in the spring and fall when it's really muddy out. Um, like I'm pretty sure I steamed it <laughs> maybe three weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. These cozy couch cushions do come off and they can't go in the wash, but it's just obviously like a pain and I just prefer to steam it. But if you're going to buy any product that I ever recommend and you have a dog, let it be a chomp chomp. This thing is amazing. It looks like this. I think we paid 20 bucks for it on Amazon like four years ago. It is the easiest way to get dog hair off of your couch, your bed, whatever it is. Honestly, it's amazing. So I always vacuum slash get the hair off the couch first before I steam it. Uh, after the baking soda has sat for a bit, I like to rake it first and then vacuum it. That way I'm not clogging up the vacuum with a ton of hair. So it, this is so satisfying to do, but you basically just rake, I don't know, rake it like you would outside.
this is literally from like a month i could build a dog with how much hair just came out of here and the nice thing is it also loosens up the rest of the hair so now when i vacuum i'm more likely to kind of like get everything and scoop it all up and like i mentioned i want to kind of transition this drink drawer to spring like just take or move the tea i won't take it out but just move the tea around since we keep all of our coffee stuff in here there's just like a lot of coffee grinds and i'll do the same thing i did yesterday where i basically just take everything out vacuum it clean it and you know put it away i also think i want to clean the coffee machine and then i am gonna call it a day everything is a lot more organized now i put most of our teas away matt drinks earl grey and i drink peppermint so i usually leave a few out for like a cooler evening but i'm actually out we're actually out of a lot right now which is like nice to take inventory i have to order some true lime i don't have like any i have, I have two left these are all lemon we've got some liquid iv our coffee spoons um just some like random electrolytes and then i have a ton of these blueberry hibiscus tea packs uh which are really great like iced in the summer so have that and I just have some sleepy time tea so that's like nice and cleaned out ready for the spring and we can kind of maybe I'm just even actually no, these are energy I'll put those separate take inventory of what we have and order what we need so really happy with that 